Hey, what's going on everyone, it's Jason, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this simple lower third inside a DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up next. All right, so now we're inside of Resolve. We're gonna take the clip above here, right? And we're gonna trim this down to six seconds. So you've got a kind of a long clip here. Let's take it down to six. Let's trim that. I'm gonna take this now, we're gonna turn it into a Fusion Clip. Right click, new Fusion Clip, right click. And I always kind of have that habit of changing them to navy blue. Let's go over to the Fusion tab now. And now that we're inside of Fusion, we're gonna work on making this lower third. We're gonna make it as quickly and simply as we possibly can. So the first thing that I like to do on this is take a background, drag that in, hold it over and hover between till it's blue, let go. Now you've got a merge there with a background. The next thing I'm gonna do is put a transform in there between with background selected. Now I'm gonna hit background again and click on the rectangle mask, okay? So let's just do a simple rectangle mask where we take this down, shrink it down, change the color of the background by selecting that. Let's just do something kind of neutral, maybe a blue, maybe a little bit darker here by dragging this down just a little bit and bringing that down. Let's go back to the rectangle, left click on that, and we're gonna decrease the height of the rectangle just a little bit more. Now I'm gonna round off the edges by using the corner radius to kind of give it a little bit more of a rounded edge here. Now I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna transform it, I'm gonna move that down to here. And I also wanna take it back and I'm gonna just shrink it left to right. So the width of it, it's a little wide for me. So let's make it a little less wide. Let's move it over again, just over here, where I want it to appear. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna manipulate this line a little bit. So I'm gonna come up to frame 20. I'm gonna keyframe my current width right here. And then I'm gonna come back to frame six and I'm gonna keyframe that width down to zero, okay? So now what we have is if we hit the space bar, we have a line that kind of grows out from the middle there, okay? Very simple. What I wanna also do to this though is I wanna come up to the spline tool and smooth this out by left clicking on rectangle. Enlarging this, hold and left click on this with the mouse, hit smooth, hold alt on windows, drag that over, hold alt right here, drag that over to there and get this nice quick animation now. Boom, it pops out really, really quickly. Okay, and that's cool, it's really simple. I just kinda like how that works. A very simple lower third. The next thing I'm gonna do is start adding some text to this, okay, and the title to his name. So we're gonna come over to background, left click on that, and there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. I'm gonna do it in a way where everything is gonna work together through a transform node. And all I mean is I'm gonna left click on background here, left click on text plus, and you can see it creates a merge. I'm gonna drag this text over here by highlighting and dragging that, and bring this over here so that they're all kind of working together. I'm gonna to pick some text, we'll call this guy John Smith. It's very creative, I know. We're gonna give him some drop shadow by clicking here on the uh, shading, drop it to three, give him just a little bit of drop shadow for that name to pop out because we don't have anything else for that to work off of, so we're gonna use that. Come back up to here, and I'm gonna move this and move his name to about there. And just for fun, we can change our font. The bold condensed isn't bad, right? And how about bold semi-condensed? Yeah, I kind of like the look of that for this particular lower third. So if we just take that off for a second, we can kind of see what this looks like at the moment, right? And what I want is I want his name now to animate in after that line crosses through right there. So what I'm gonna do is take this, and right as this gets to the end, I'm gonna take this right here, I'm gonna give it its own transform, this text, which is his name. Transform there, connect that. And then I'm gonna take this text here, bring it up, and I'm gonna connect a rectangle mask to that, okay? And we can see if I take the rectangle mask, oop, his name disappears. I'm gonna bring this in, really simple. And I'm gonna drag this down to the line. I want his name to pop out of that line. Nice and simple here but I want his name to pop out of that line below that blue line. So let's go here to text. You can see that ends at 20 frames, the animation of the line, right? Let's start his name animation at frame 16, just to see what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is have his name animate within 16 frames, so his name will finish animating on frame 32, so I'll left click that, 
and it's going to start animating on 16. We're going to drag it into the mask, and then it pops out nice and slow. We're going to add a little motion blur to this by clicking on settings, left click there, motion blur. Okay, and then we're going to come back to spline, left click on that, left click on rectangle to get rid of it, left click on this so we can see text one, which is his name. And a lot of times if you're working and you want to be super organized, label your nodes. I'm just doing it here to be quick and efficient. I would normally label that, you know, his name. And actually, I'm going to change this back to just a regular right there. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Let's see what the name animation looks like coming out of the blue line. It looks good. Pops out. Very believable. I do want to go back and just check for a second to make sure that the background or the rectangle has some animation that's a blur too. It doesn't. Let's left click and highlight that. Let's play it again. So, so far so good. I really like this animation. It looks clean. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the background and left click on that again and add another text node. Okay. So we're going to go text node here. We're going to work a little slower. There's the text. Let's add a transform to it. Let's add a mask to it before we even put the text on. There's our mask. Let's resituate this. Let's clean this up a little bit over here on the other side. Let's click on text. And we've got what font for this one? We've got bold semi condensed Myriad Pro. So let's just do that again here, real quick. Let's just do CEO Luck Brand. Let's type in a fictional company there. I'm going to take this and go Myriad Pro. Then we had the bold condensed, right? I'm going to give him the same amount of shading here, enable the shading elements, drop that opacity down a little bit, but still make it clean. So now we have that part right there. Let's left click on the rectangle right here. Let's bring that over. And what we want is we want his name to pop out from the blue line essentially. So that's what it's going to look like to people that are watching this, okay? So we're going to take this here, bring that up and through, take our text, and we can do two things here, right? We can either have his name pop out from the top and bottom at the same time, or we can have that bottom part pop out at a different time. Let's take it and make sure that it pops out at you know the same time. So we're going to go to frame 32. We're going to go up here, Left click on layout, left click on that keyframe. Let's go back to frame 16. Let's bring this up into the mask, right? And we've got our second keyframe now automatically made right there. We need to speed this up. Let's left click on settings. Let's add the motion blur to that. Then let's come back here to spline and just stretch the spline out here, okay? Left click on this right here, the zoom part of the spline. Left click and drag on these two keyframes, hit S for smooth, hold down Alt on Windows, drag this over to smooth that out. Let's let it play again. That looks good. I really like what this animation looks like, okay? Let's go back to the edit timeline for just a second here. Let's let it play here. That looks really good. I really like what that looks like right now. Nice and clean, really simple lower third for, you know, a corporate video or, you know, just any video, an interview, anything like this. Really like how that plays through, really smooth, right? Now, though, we need that out animation. So we get to that end of the six seconds and we don't have our out animation in there, just the in. Let's go back to Fusion. All right, so we have our entire in animation. What we want to do now is create that out animation. And to create that movement out, first I want to actually start with the names instead of starting with the line. So let's click on text one first and let's make that one disappear first, okay? We're going to need at least 14 frames before the end of the animation here. So if we go to the end of the animation, we'd be 144 minus 14 for the line. And we got to remember that the names animated in 16 frames or so, but there'll be a little overlap. So we're actually going to minus 12 frames to get to 118. And we're going to start our name animation out at that frame. So let's Left click on this keyframe here. We're going to make this 16 frames again, his name animating out. And we're going to take this and left click and bring this down. We're going to come back to keyframe 118. Now we're going to select text two, which is the CEO part. Left click on this keyframe right here. Go to 134. Bring that name up into the line so it disappears, right? Now let's go to spline. 
And let's start working on text one first. There we go. And we're gonna make sure all these are deselected. So let's just left click on these, select, hold down Alt on Windows, drag this over to smooth that out. Let's go to text two now, widen that out a little bit, left click and drag, hit S to smooth, hold Alt to drag that out and smooth it more. And let's see what our out animation looks like with the name now. So nice and smooth, right back into the line, right? Okay. Now we said we're gonna start animating the line as well. So we're gonna have that rectangle start to disappear as these names start to come in, right? So let's look at the, uh, the names. We're gonna start four frames in at frame 122 right here. Click on the rectangle, and we just wanna take the width of the rectangle and make it shrink down to zero. We wanna do it over 14 frames, which is how it started in the beginning. So let's go to 136. Just take this here, decrease the width to zero, click on spline, and what we want to do is, let's just start with the width, right? Hold and left click there, hit S to smooth, hit Alt right here, drag that to the playhead, and nice smooth animation out. Let's watch the entire thing here. Animates in really smooth, and then animates out. And I really, really like that, just how it looks. That line expands, names pop up and down, right? and then out. Okay, let's go back to the timeline and watch it play. So here's the full animation. It's nice and clean and smooth. You can do anything that you want with that, right? You can mix it up, change colors, change names, you know, change text sizes, whatever you want to do. And the beauty of it as well, if I go back to the Fusion tab, is with the transform node, I can actually move this name around to wherever I want. If I want to move it here, if I want to move it here, the transform will keep all of the comp together essentially and let me manipulate and move that around if I want. If I go back to the edit tab, you can see now it's in the right corner and nothing about the animation has changed with it. So that's the nice part about using the transform at the end to kind of group those together so that if I play this, it does exactly the same animation on that side of the screen as it did on the other side of the screen. You can also make that bigger or smaller using the transform node.